These first couple of questions are the basic ones which just evaluating things. Do you remember your laws? These ones take them a little bit further because they're still remembering laws, but it's like, it's algebra. Like, I can't just evaluate numbers when I see them, okay? So there's that, add the extra layer of, um, of difficulty. Not a huge one, but it is there. That's why they're sort of two categories. So, uh, let's see how your memory is and how, you're, how comfortable you're starting to feel with this new kind of arithmetic. Uh, with logs. Does someone want to give me a suggestion? Not an answer, but a first line of working for question one. Someone, any takers? Yeah, go ahead, please. Um, you move the five and the half back, so it's, um, it'll be two to the power of five, which is two. Okay, so I'm going to move that up here and that off there. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying I'm going to have log base eight of 32 and log base eight of two. Excellent. Okay, good. Thank you. Who wants to give me a next step? Where do we go from here? Because we've used the power law, we've used it twice to bring them in the front. Joseph? Um, you combine the logs together. So okay. Because it's addition, you multiply. Fantastic. So this 32 and this 2, we're, they're going to multiply together and become 64, right? Fantastic. And then once you've gotten to this point, everything's folded down into one log. Perfect. 8 to the power of something is 64. 8, 2. 2. 8 times 8. We'll give you 64, but the power I'm interested in is I'm squaring it. Okay, so there we go. Number two, let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, suggestion for a first step of working. Someone hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, no, actually, no, you, you have said something. We can come back to you. That's all right. Someone else have an opportunity. Uh, let's see. Robbie, you got anywhere on this question yet? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Um, come down and check. I reckon you got. No, okay, all right. I'll give you a hand, okay? And Joe, you, you can finish me off, right? Now, you can see here, um, I look at these things and I think about, well, what can I work with first, okay? Now, the thing screaming out to me is, I have things in brackets. Like, normal order of operations, I should deal with things in brackets first, right? So I've got two logs, I'm adding them together. Just like this step we just did here, adding together means we multiply those things in there. So um, that log base three of 270, he's hanging out the front. Haven't done anything to him yet, but when I subtract, what I'm subtracting in here is log base three of ten. two times five, which is ten. Okay, so log base three of ten. Great. Okay, now I've turned three logs into two. All right, give me next step. Oh, now you divide. Okay, fantastic. Just like we saw, adding turns into multiplication. Subtraction turns into division. Right? You see how important it was uh, and how glad I was to be able to do inverse functions and then lead into this because all the, the inverses appear everywhere, right? So I'm going to have log base 3 of 270 divided by 10, which is 27. And again, just like at this point, I'm down to one log. 3 to the power of what will give me 27? 3 cubed, right? So 3 is just a bit. Okay? All right, now when we get to question three, because we can't do this, um, these steps here, steps like this, like, oh, that's a number I recognize. Like, who knows what this number is, okay? You just have to be a little more crafty, okay? So for instance, <coughs> excuse me, you can see here, I've got some choices as to how I want to simplify this. I've got the power law involved, right? I can either, good morning. I can either bring this power out the front, so it's there, or alternatively, I could take this, the coefficient, that's what we call that number at the front, and I could turn it into the power. Which would you prefer to do? So you want to take this 3 and put it up? Yeah. Should we try that? All right, so I'm going to get log base A of A squared, just going to leave that guy there, plus log base A of the 3 is going to come out, it'll be A cubed, right? Okay, now when I add together logs, we've already established this, I multiply these guys here, that guy and that guy, right? So I'm going to go log base A of um, a index laws, a squared times a cubed is a to the power of 5, like so, okay? So now I can either do this next part in one or two steps. What am I going to do with this 5? A bit pesky. I can bring that out the front, 5, right? And then say, oh, okay, well, what's left is log base a of a, which is just one. So, so that's just fine. Okay? So, um, yes? We can, uh, we can just cancel out the red thing because it's log base a to the power of a, it's one already. And then we'll bring the. Hold on, hold on. Pause for a second. Uh, I want to take your line of um, argument. Which line are you referring to? Like the original question? Yeah. yeah, okay, so what were you suggesting doing here? So, um, you, 
put the, the square on behind it. When, when you say behind, like do you mean like as yeah, the coefficient? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. By the way, just pause. I'm going to take your um, line of argument in a second. Remember how I said, I made a big point like, oh, why do we do notation and introduce new words and that kind of thing? It's because it allows us to derive things more finally, right? It's like, yeah, kind of half of us know what you mean by saying behind, but only half of us and the other half think you mean there, right? Which is what I thought. Um, so therefore, when we use words like coefficient or power, it's like, yeah, now we all know what we're talking about. This is the power of it, okay? Um, anyway. Okay, good. Now, I've taken the two, I've put it here. Now what do I do with that? Um, log A to the, log A base A um, is one, mm -hmm. then you just have sub substituted it as one, and mm -hmm. then the, on the other side, log A to the base A is like one again, so three plus two is five. Yeah, that's right. Now, just in case you didn't quite catch Aravind's logic, remember I said at the beginning, we have two choices, right? We can turn everything into these powers up here, or we can turn everything into coefficients. Now, that's what Aravind was suggesting. He, instead of going up to the A cubed, was saying, leave that three there, leave it where it is, and do this. Now, I'm going to suggest, even though we are going to get the same answer, this is probably ever so slightly quicker than what you would, we were doing before. Because you can see here what I had to do was, I had to turn them into powers, and then I kind of had to turn them back. It was fine, we can do it, right? But it's like, well, if I can choose less steps rather than more steps, I'll choose less. Uh, that was not immediately apparent when we first started, and it, it didn't matter in a sense. Like, we still got there, all good, right? But as you start doing more of these, you're like, oh, okay, I think I'm gonna choose these kinds of strategies rather than these ones, because they tend to be quicker and therefore less error prone. So, happy times, those are both great solutions. Last question, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Keeping that in the back of your mind, right, that um, we've just established that generally getting that number out the front is a, is a good idea, okay? What would you like to do with question four? Who wants to give me a first line of work? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, turn the log base A uh, to the root X into a half. Um, okay, so this, this, um, this is um, two steps all at once, which is fine. Root x is really, we want everything in index form, right? So that's x to the power of a half. So if that's to the power of a half, I can put that half out the front, right? Thumbs up, okay? What do I do with the next bit? Move the half out Okay, keep careful, right? I've got a root x there, so the index is a half. Here I have an x on the denominator. So what's the index that um, puts a number on the denominator? It's, it's negative, right? It's a negative one. You cross the line, change the sign, okay? So therefore, I've got subtraction, and then there's a double negative, right, of log a x. In fact, that was just one of our log laws, <coughs> excuse me, that when you've got a fraction here, you can turn it upside down, take the reciprocal, and slap a minus sign at the front, because that will give you a, um, that's the effect that index has. What happens to this double negative? It just becomes a plus, so I've got half that thing, whatever it is, plus one of them, half of something, plus a whole of something is, well, it's one and a half of that thing, or three on two. So I would just write this as three on two. So, okay. Now, at this point, um, I'm kind of done. Like, I don't know what log base A of X is. They don't give me any values. I could, I suppose, I could put this up here in the power, but I think you'd be hard pressed to find someone who'd say it's simpler to have something raised to some weirdo looking power versus just multiply by a number. I can multiply by a number, okay? So I think at this point, we're finished. All right, any questions on those? So where'd you get the um, three over two? Three over two, yeah, sure, okay. So here, what have I got here, right? Um, even though there's like all of this big like logarithm this, logarithm that, like this is just algebra and collecting like terms. Okay, it's just collecting like terms. And the like terms I've got are log base A of x here and log base A of x here. So if I gave you something a bit simple like half m plus m, right, that's like, well, okay, um, how many m's do I have? How many m's? Well, I've got one here and I've got half of one here. So I've got one and a half of them in total, which is just three on two. Okay, um, if you wanted to, I suppose you could write that as uh, uh, this divided by two, and this is two lots of them divided by two, and then you get them on a common denominator, but I don't think that's really necessary. Okay. 
Good question. Anyone else want to clarify any points? So with the <coughs> question three, you get log base a a to the power five. Yep. Like, how did I get that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So <coughs> again, be careful. Just adding the algebra. It's not that much more complicated, but it's just that extra little bit where from here to here, I think we can all see that the 32 and the 2, they're going to multiply to be the 64. You're all okay with that? Yeah. But here, the a squared and the a cubed, they're doing exactly the same thing, except when you multiply them together, a squared times a cubed, the indices add. So it's a to the power of 2 plus 3. So just like we would state the index law like this. Okay, like so. So there's my 2 plus 3, my m plus m, which is 5. Though it's worth mentioning, like this is just another reason why probably this, um, this path, this method through the question, is, is quicker, right? Because you don't have to worry about index laws in this. I'm just doing 2 or something times three, plus 3 or something. I can add 2 and 3, like that's just 5. Okay. So that's why probably I would prefer that, even though you, you do get the same answer either way.